Ellipsis Magic Cube Tutorial 3 Starting a new show with moving lights First of all we're going to open Magic Cube So we go to Start All Programs Camsys Magic Cube and then Magic Cube PC We're going to choose to continue the last show This has opened Magic Cube on the screen we're going to open the visualizer so we can see what we're doing. Visualizer, view visualizer. And now we're going to go and start a new show. We go to the setup window by pressing the setup button. And then we go to new show. We are asked whether we want to erase the current show from memory. We accept yes and then we choose the mode that we wish to use. There are four modes Normal, Theatre Non-Tracking, Theatre Tracking and Hog 2 Warp. We're going to choose Normal. This is now uh, emptied Magic Queue so there is no uh, fixtures patched and we are ready now to patch our desired fixtures. So if we go across to the patch window you can see that there's no fixtures. We're going to go and choose a head, soft button here, and then we choose a manufacturer. I'm going to choose a Roby head by typing R O B on the keyboard, and this will take me to Roby. I'm then going to choose a um, spot. I'm going to cursor down to the spots. I'm going to choose a spot 2500. I get a list of modes. So I'm going to choose mode 1. You can see in the title bar that I've chosen the Ruby 2500's spot, mode 1. It also tells me the first free channel that I can patch this fixture. To patch it, I press the patch it button. Now in this show I'm going to have four and I'm going to put them at the DMX address on universe 2 and you put a minus and then the channel number where you want to patch them. I'm going to select 100. So we're going to patch four fixtures at universe 2 starting at channel 100. Magic Q asks me whether I want to insert the heads into the visualizer. I do want to do that. So now Magic Q has patched four fixtures starting from Universe 2 Channel 100 and it automatically patches the following heads after each other. You can also see that the fixtures have now been placed in the visualizer, all in a line, all four of them so I'm ready to start using those lights. If I go to Layout 1 then automatically I get my groups, positions, colours and beams. So I select my four Spot 2500s I locate them so I can see them that's put all the parameters at their default parameters and then I can choose the colours from the colour palettes the positions and the gobos. And that's all it is to patching a show. For further info, please visit www.camsys.co.uk.